Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how to compare two strings with and without using library function. First of all, compare two strings with the help of library function. The strcmp function compare two strings character by character. If the strings are equal, then this function returns zero. This function takes two arguments which is of string type str1 and str2. The strcmp function defined in the header file hash include string dot h. Let's see the code to check whether the given two strings are equal or not using the library function. First of all, inside the main function, declare two string str1 and str2. Then declare two variables of integer type l1 and l2. l1 variable holds the length of string 1 and l2 variable hold the length of string 2. After that with the help of printf function, first of all display the message enter first string. Then with gets function input string 1. Then with printf function display the message enter string 2. with gets function input string 2 then after that compute the length of string 1 and string 2 l1 is equal to str len function and str len function takes one argument which is of string type and return length of the string similarly compute the length of string 2 with str len function then check the if condition if l1 is equal to equal to l2 if length of both the strings are equal then in second if with str cmp function compare two string str1 and str2 If both the strings are equal, then strcmp function returns 0. 0 is equal to equal to 0. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then with the printf function display the message strings are equal. If this condition is evaluated to be false, then else part is to be evaluated strings are not equal if the length of two strings are not equal if this condition is evaluated to be false then this else part is to be evaluated printf strings are not equal run this code now after the execution of this code first of all enter string 1 string 1 is abc then enter string 2 string 2 is also abc now in this case both the strings are equal again run this code enter first string first string is abc and second string is def now in this case strings are not equal in this code first we have checked whether the length of both string is equal or not if it is equal then we process further if the length of the two given strings are not equal neither string will be equal
if both strings are equal then the str cmp function return 0 otherwise if both strings are not equal then str cmp function return 1 next is how to compare string in c without using str cmp function first of all inside the main function declare two string then declare as well as initialize two integer variable i and c and both are initialized with zero then with printf function display the message enter first string then with gets function input string 1 similarly input string 2 then apply while loop and put the condition str1 of i not equal to null or str2 of i not equal to null If this condition is evaluated to be true, then check the if condition. If str1 of i not equal to str2 of i, if this condition is evaluated to be true, then c initialize with 1 and break statement is encountered that exit from condition and inside the body of while loop increase the value of i by 1 when this condition is evaluated to be false then control transfer to the out of loop Then check the if condition if value of c is equal to equal to 0 if this condition is true then with printf function display the message strings are equal if this condition is evaluated to be false then with printf function display the message string are not equal Now run this code, after the execution of this code first of all enter string 1, string 1 is abc and string 2 is also abc. Now in this case the output is strings are equal. Again run this code, enter string 1, string 1 is abc def and string 2 is abc mno. Now in this case strings are not equal. Let's see the logic. Using the gets function scan both the string from the user at runtime. The first and second string saved in the variables str1 and str2. Then create a while loop that runs until the last character of both the string inside the loop use an if statement to check whether the first character of the first string is not equal to the first character of the second string if it evaluates to be true then initialize one to c and use the break keyword to terminate the loop if the condition of the if block evaluates to be false then the value of i gets incremented and program flow goes back to the condition of the while loop 
this will continue until the condition of the while loop evaluates to be false or the condition of if block inside the while loop evaluates to be true after terminating the loop check whether c hold zero or not if it hold then statement of if block never run so both strings are equal otherwise if c hold one then the statement of the if block is executed so both the strings are not equal for example if str1 is cat and str2 is cats now str1 of 0 hold c and str1 of 1 hold a and str1 of 2 hold t and str1 of 3 hold null similarly str 2 of 0 hold c str 2 of 1 hold a and str 2 of 2 hold t and str 2 of 3 hold s and str 2 of 4 hold null now check the while condition str1 of i not equal to null or str2 of i not equal to null str1 of i is c c is not equal to null or str2 of i str2 of 0 is also c c is not equal to null condition is evaluated to be true because in both cases c is not equal to the null terminated character so the program flow goes inside the while loop then check the if condition if str1 of 5 not equal to str2 of 5 now str1 of 5 is c c is not equal to c condition is evaluates to be false then program flow does not go inside the if block the program increments the value of i and goes back to the condition of the while loop again the program continue running until the condition of the while loop evaluates to be false or inside the loop if the condition of if block evaluates to be true then program flow goes inside the if block and one gets initialized to c variable and using the break keyword the program flow exit the while loop or the loop is terminate and after that check whether c hold its original value zero or not if it hold then the if block condition never evaluates to true indicating that no character mismatch occurred from the same position of both string so the program prints strings are equal as output otherwise print strings are not equal again run this code input first string first string is cat input second string second string is cats now in this case both the strings are not equal 